Hey you mob, good year good, Nata Andy Saunders, that means hello my name is Andy Saunders in Gatang, the beautiful language of the beautiful Burupai Nation, which is where we are right now. We're on Tari Tape campus and we're just about to go into a lesson of a cert one in Gatang languages. Um, the crows are coming as well and that's being run by uh, a language holder uh, who is very well, well respected here in uh, Tari and all across the area of um, Biripai lands and her name is Mandy Davis. Uh, I cannot wait. Um, I'm kind of nervous too but um, it's going to test me out so let's go. I'm pretty pumped. Follow. I know, I thought I brushed my teeth last week. I know language is very important to you. Um, how, how long have you been teaching language for system? Um, been teaching for probably since 2012, 2014. After, you know, we reclaimed all our resources and, and Mutabai Language Centre supported yep. us with getting our dictionary. Yeah, from that I had beautiful brother boy Jeremy Saunders teach myself and your beautiful mum and Arnie Wilma Morpham mm. in my first class of Gatang. So from there then, um, you know, we became teachers to teach our mob. So we've got a new little fella that's joined us today and his name's Andy Saunders. I'll let him introduce himself. G'day everyone, how are we? Um, good year, good Nata Andy. Whoa! Mm. <laughs> It's great to be here. It's an honour to be here on beautiful Burupai country in this lovely room. It's good to see so many people in a, uh, a Gatang class. And can I just say something about Gatang? All right. It's a language that spans across two countries. Three countries. Which is Burupai, Waramai, and Gurungai. And I love what am I, because I always say, what am I? What are you? What are we? <laughs> <laughs> so let's all say, we're boo, bing I. We're boo, bing I. What keeps you motivated? One hand, I keep motivated by grief. You know, we're healing from a loss of our language. We're also grieving um, for the loss not only of language, but the cultural knowledge that came with that language. Yep. Um, I grieve for our old ones that fought for our rights for us to be sitting here today, yep. having a yarn and, you know, and me teaching class and you attending class in Gatung. Hmm. I grieve for the punishments that they, they receive for yep. not being able to speak language. And then on the other hand, I've got like joy. Wanda Michigan. Wanda Michigan. Wanda. Ni. Ye. Ye. Michigan. <laughs> Ni. Ye. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, don't, sorry. Don't do that. Aborigin. Ni. <laughs> I got it's that missing part of my identity. Of course. Knowing that it had been asleep for so long and then, you know, coming together and our first class was so emotional and, mm. you know, you could see the the grief in people's eyes mm. as, you know, flashes of memories and thoughts of like, it's taken this <laughs> yeah. to, to get to where we are today. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, I know for certain today that there is somewhere on this, you know, this, these three countries, um, there's someone talking language. I love hearing you talk about that. And not, I, I don't think it's hard to understand that uh, grief and joy because you do feel happy and sad with the revitalisation of all languages, Aboriginal languages across the East Coast and in New South Wales and all over Australia. For me, I think it might be about the journey yeah. and not so much about the destination because I think our destination lies in the journey. Yeah. What we're doing is our destination. On a daily basis, every breath we take towards revitalising language and having it fluent and our kids speak it like but uh, we think about those goals, but I think the journey towards that is all destination. Wanda Miri. Wanda Miri. Yi Miri. 
Wanda going? Yi going. Donga? Donga one boy. This is what I always say about learning. The, the most you'll ever learn is at home, at your parents' or your grandparents' feet. Because it's non-threatening, it's safe, and it's full of love. Yeah. And that's immersive learning. Um, so, I mean, to have a class like you're running, it's heading towards immersive learning because it feels safe, non-threatening, yeah. non-judgmental, uh, and it's full of fun. It's laughter. I mean, when I'm laughing, I'm open, I'm vulnerable, I'm just ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. So I love laughing. Yeah. So I've got mad teeth for laughing. Right. Going? Going? Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> going, going. So that said, do you think language is in safe hands now? I think language is in safe hands now. Um, there's a little percentage of me that I think we might not be endangered again, but we might lose what we've struggled so hard to, to bring back. Yep. Um, through the revitalisation process, so I think there's always going to be that little niggle and feeling that shit. I hope we don't like lose this again. Of course. And I think when I will feel safe is when our babies are, you know, their first words are going to be in gatang again, yeah. like our ancestors spoke it. And I guess then I'll know that our language is is safe. If you it's want to safe. Call, yeah. When our yeah. kids are teaching kids and yeah, and our first words again are going to be gutung. Yep. You know, that's when I know that we're at a secure spot then. But yeah. Ni burai, tunga gori, ni guri, wanda galpan. It was so much fun. If I lived here, I would come to the class every week. I live in Sydney, unfortunately, but I was learning a little bit of that with my Uncle Ben in high school, and being refreshed on it was just so good, and it was good to see everyone that I've grown up with and all my aunts and uncles, and just being back here is so nice for me. My belief is that language is of the utmost importance to us, especially now. Yeah. Well, brother, it's been so lovely catching up with you. Um, and Always I'm good catching up with you. <laughs> we're really proud that you're our ambassador yeah, for language, and, um, and it's been lovely having you in our class today. Um, I think I'll come to another one. Oh, well, I hope you do. Yeah, yeah. I will. <laughs> See you next Monday. Next Monday? Yeah. I'll be fishing, and I'll go fishing. <laughs>